my name is Sarah Bucci. I am a field organizer with the group Environment Maryland. We're a statewide citizen-based advocacy organization dedicated to clean air, clean water, and open space. I'm really excited to be out here on this beautiful <laughs> November morning with the Electric Vehicle Association of Greater DC and some of these great clean cars um, like the Chevy Volt and the Nissan Leaf and the car owners. Um, we're here today to showcase the cars that are already on the road in Maryland, um, as well as the future that lies ahead if we embrace this clean car technology. Um, so we're here today to release a study by the Union of Concerned Scientists and the Natural Resources Defense Council um, that shows if President Obama's administration's fuel economy and pollution standard for cars through model years 2025 is implemented free of loopholes. Uh, the average American or average Maryland sorry family uh, would save about $365 each year on fuel um, and Maryland as a state would save 484 million gallons of fuel annually by the year 2030. This is a Vectrix electric scooter. You can take it on the Beltway. Cruises at 60 miles an hour with no problem. Top speed is 68, almost 70 miles an hour. I've had it now for two years. I've ridden it from down here in College Park area up to Baltimore. We got five electric vehicles here today at Mom's Organic Market in College Park, Maryland. Four cars and one electric motorcycle. And we are talking to the press and other nice people who would like to find out more about electric vehicles, how we can uh, use less gasoline, save money, and improve the environment. I'm Dave Davidson. I have a 2011 Nissan Leaf. I've had it for about six months. I have about 6,200 miles on it. One of the best things about the car is I don't buy gas. I get, Nissan says 100 miles to a charge, and I'd say that's pretty close. I'm getting 80 to 85 with the air conditioner. So if I turn off the air conditioner, I think I could get 100 on it. I figure I'm saving enough on gas to make about half the car payment. The, our gas car is not a bad one. It gets 25 miles per gallon. But with gasoline at 350 a gallon and going up, and electricity's not going up, so the higher gas goes, the more I save. People will either charge at home yep. or over time. Yep. Um, garages and things. Right? At work, right. At if work. You, if you drive in this car 40 miles to go to work right. and you have an arrangement with your employer to plug in at work, you'll get another 40 miles to go home. You still haven't used a drop of gasoline. You'll get 3,000 miles a gallon of gasoline. <laughs> right. We've been working with electric cars for over 30 years now. It's a combination of caring about the earth, caring about carbon emissions, caring about pollution, and it's about caring about oil and the terrible damage that oil does to our planet and the terrible addiction our country has to foreign oil. It's really, really a shame, and there's almost no way our country can get out of that terrible addiction unless and until almost every car in America is electric. And when that happens, I think we'll be well on our way to a post-petroleum age, and that's what we're on the fringe of right now, the post-petroleum age. And this is just the very beginning.